full PT off on? I thought he still just goes Charizard. Oh, it's, it's, it, online it's like 70, 20, 10. Offline it's like 60, 30, 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, he's still a Charizard main, just with yeah. a little bit of extra help along the way. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, that's dope. I'm all for it. Let's see how it all plays out here. I mean, you're gonna be starting off with the Squirtle. Honestly, Squirtle's just a really good character to deal with sorties in general. A very, very quick character, small body as well. Can bob in, uh, bob and weave through all these hitboxes, all these scenarios. Oh my God, dude, Kill a Kill, Kill was uh, really looking for a way to close it out. That was actually a scary spot to be in. Yeah, he waited out the, the the switch as well, but didn't quite have the positioning to get these tippers that he's been so like expertly spacing thus far. Like every other hit feels like a tipper at that at this point, and the the preparation on Kel's part and just the kind of spatial awareness he's has been showing off has been huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's basically where you gotta be against Beast Charizard because he'll throw those out and try to catch you sleeping. No, oh, not again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't deserve that, dude. Beast did not deserve that. I'm telling you right now. That, that was unfair. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Never mind. Uh, crisis averted. We're going to be able to get back to stage here, but this Charizard's still popping off, man. 190. Yeah, 190. Oh, uh, and this is... This is the detriment of Marth. It is Marthritis for a reason. Originally coined back in the Melee scene, because... If you don't find those right tippers, or if you don't find the, the right spots, uh -oh. then, yeah, you're going to be struggling to kill. And Kel, off, while he had a fiery start, needs something big to, to close himself back into this game. And if Beast is allowed to get off of ledge like he has been thus far, where you want to keep every Pokemon, then you're, you're feeling pretty good. Oh, right. wait a minute. Uh-oh. Ooh! Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh, my God! Goodness, kill a cow! What is happening, buddy? That was you... so oh good. Okay, jab walk punish for jab walk punish, but Kel with the absolute turnaround, what took like a game that was starting to slip from his fingers momentum wise, to now he's got all of his back, all the confidence in the world, and these tipper downers just keep coming. Yeah, man, that was uh that was gross, but I'm 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 trying to just get myself back into the to the game to watch this, but man, that was that was a stock. Oh my! Uh, these S oh man, now. here he goes. Okay, Ooh. he near near nearly missing the ledge. This is it. Wait, this is a really rough spot. He didn't have a jump. Oh, yeah, that's it. Wow, dude. Oh, that was one misplay, and you just threw the game away, man. Oh, he had to be feeling so good after that stock too. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Jab. Yeah, or jab side B, the down air spike off the ground. Oh my goodness, alley oop to himself to clean it all up, man. That was a beautiful stock, but it doesn't matter too much, man, because Beast is still gonna take that home. And that was like, it's, it's important though. It's an important trait that Beast has made sure everyone is aware of time and time again. When Beast Charizard smells blood in the water as he does start the Charizard in this game too then mm -hmm. like it can be devastating and you can start losing stocks at like 28 whether to be powerful gimps or flare blitzes that kind of come around out of nowhere yeah for sure for sure i mean th yeah this part definitely uh looking pretty on point but we're gonna see if this charizard has something to say about that i mean there was a couple of uh we saw a couple scenarios in that last game where charizard was able to clean up some stocks we saw that flare blitz right after uh, a missed one to be able to close out one stock. And then we saw that forward air off stage with just one misplay from Kill a Kel. So we're going to see if they can find a way to turn this around. Game two, you definitely got plenty of time. And you're looking pretty good here. But uh-oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Some of these punish... Some of these options are a little bit weak from Kel, and especially in recovery routes, just a very obvious air dodge to platform. But his neutral has been so strong that you can take small punishes and find your way back to close out these stocks as the Charizard was kind of invalidated for a good long while. And as we now see the Squirtle come out from Beast, see if he can kind of change up the pace a little bit with his small stature. But the spacing mm -hmm. and the timing on some of these aerials have been so pristine, but not quite enough to where Beast can start timing these parries if he sees uh. Kel swinging at the exact same timing. Oh. Yeah, we saw that Pokemon switch. Didn't want to get caught up by that tipper and not gonna be able to take the stock yet. Oh no! Okay, okay, never mind. They're they're good. They're good. I thought the I thought they were gonna be able to miss everything. I thought we were gonna see Mark get back the stage, but no. 
I mean, a, a sigh of relief for Beast here. Gonna find a way to try and, you know, even this up some way, somehow. At least the stocks are even, but the percentages are a different story. And Beast is trying to find a way in, man. Kill Kel is taking their time. There we go. Finally, something started. Oh, big damage here. Oh, and 49, the high recovery won't do it. The high, oh, not again. Oh! And he died. The tipper on Charizard. F-Smash right at that neck, and he is... <laughs> He is good and gone, and the armor as well. The Beast Zard <laughs> always comes in clutch when he needs it. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought, oh, I thought he was gonna go for the down air a little bit earlier, but okay, hey, great counter. I think he got the counter like the last possible frame, because that that looked like it shouldn't have hit. But either way, gonna be able to close out the stock. Great stuff. And again, we're down to the final stocks here. Fifty-five percent separating the two. Finally, Killakel is gonna get some sort of opening. Uh-oh. Oh. Near, narrow, narrowly avoiding. And just, um, these parries have been so clutching late in this game from Kel. But yet the percent lead still thriving. Oh, a return on Beast part. The Vine Whip oh, won't do no. it, but the swap. He's got he's got no jump. Good good decision on Kel. Not trying to recover. Holy Oh, the no. play! Oh, that's he's not gonna be able to kill him, right? Oh, not if he misses. Oh, he missed! He missed oh, nice! No! Oh my God. <laughs> Oh no, Beast is gonna win this now, huh? <laughs> the plot armor are here. <laughs> oh no, that's so unfortunate. He got, dude, he got mixed up because of the tail placement. <laughs> yeah, that's. So he thought he's got his. Oh, the Z axis, the Z axis, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's that's so unfair man dude <laughs> charizard's big weird body threw him <laughs> off that's so unfortunate oh and i mean you can hear it behind me the crown oh. is just like oh 